Many homeowners don't realize that your geezer does need a bit of preventative maintenance. But it's actually not difficult. Besides adjusting your thermostat to lower the level in order to save electricity, the other part that needs to be checked is a sacrificial anode. So, what is this anode for? And why does it need to be replaced? The sacrificial anode is an essential component of your geezer. It's a long metal rod, usually made of a soft material such as magnesium or aluminium. This rod extends through the tank's interior and it attracts particles of iron, limescale and other minerals present in the water through an electrochemical process. Now instead of the minerals corroding the inside of the tank, the rod is designed to corrode, hence the term sacrificial anode. Now corrosion on the inside of the tank can lead to a burst geyser and all those problems. Changing the anode is simple. Here I have a geyser, much easier to show on the bench as compared to inside the roof. But all you need to do is drain the geyser to below half via the drain port and then using a socket, in this case number 30, simply unscrew and remove the anode. Look at how corroded it is. This is what a new one looks like. So if your one looks like this, it's definitely time to give it a change. This new anode is 19 millimeters in diameter and the old one at its thinnest part is only four millimeters. Now this particular geezer was made in 2016 as indicated by the letter U on the geezer. So I'm assuming that this is not the original anode. This one has reached the end of its service life and it needs to be changed. Now anodes should be checked every year or two and depending on the mineral content of your water, it'll depend how quickly it corrodes. Installing the new one is just as simple. Just ensure that you have the right length, depending on if it's 150 or 200 liters. These are the most common sizes in our home. Simply slide it in and then tighten it into place, making sure that the O-ring is in place. Hey guys, it's much easier and certainly a lot cheaper to replace this anode rather than replacing the geezer. A couple of hundred versus a couple of thousand rands. Now builders have these anodes as well as new geezers both in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog or the website. Get to builders, get it done.